A woman who escaped from a Michigan prison 37 years ago has been found living a new life here in San Diego. New at 7 o'clock, we're learning how Judy Heyman's son reacted to his mother's secret past. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. Heyman was discovered living under a different name near Balboa Park. Attendance reporter Jennifer Jensen is outside the apartment with how she finally confessed her identity. The Michigan Department of Corrections tells 10 News that Heyman escaped from prison at just 23 years old. But Monday afternoon, she was arrested at her apartment complex right here in Park West behind me. It was a picture taken in 1977, but a picture nonetheless that helped San Diego police officers identify and arrest a woman on the lam for nearly 37 years. The Michigan Department of Corrections sent us the mugshot of now 60 year old Judy Lynn Heyman, who escaped from this Michigan prison, the Women's Huron Valley Correctional Facility in Ypsilanti. She was serving time for larceny or theft from a building. At the request of detectives in Michigan, San Diego police checked an address here at this Park West apartment complex Monday afternoon. Uh, she identified herself as Jamie Lewis, and she had documents that supported her alias. Police say she was inside her apartment with a 32-year-old man believed to be her son. But it was clear to the officers that the son, too, was caught off guard, that his mom was a wanted fugitive. Based on the officer's observations, he seemed quite surprised about all of this. Not long after, the truth came out. She admitted to being Judy Heyman, the wanted suspect, the wanted fugitive. If this sounds familiar, that's because Heyman is now the second female fugitive found living in San Diego under a different name after escaping from a Michigan women's prison. Susan Lefevre, who also went by Marie Walsh, was arrested at her home in Carmel Valley. She was ultimately sent back to Michigan to serve a one-year sentence. Heyman is now awaiting extradition to Michigan. When it became clearly evident that she wasn't going to be able to get away with this ruse anymore, that she just finally, at the time, had come to admit to the truth. In Park West, Jennifer Jensen, 10 News.